next question is related to some, some an action a dog's doing in the house. So this this dope dog says, my dog sometimes pees in my bed right where I sleep. Oh, is no. something wrong or is the internet right that she just loves me? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I oh, guess they no. did some Googling and saw it means like a sign of love, but what else maybe oh. could it be? Oh no. Okay. So <laughs> a couple of things here. First of all, if your dog is marking in the same area, whether it's like this dope dogger's bed or your couch or your favorite rug, the thing to keep in mind is your dog's nose functions at such a higher level than ours ever will. So even though you might think that the area is clean and doesn't smell like urine, there's actually still urines in the fibers and right. your dog can smell that. And so in their mind, it's a bathroom. The problem with beds and couches is they're highly absorbent for your dog. So I want you to think of your bed as like the most absorbent, biggest pee pad your dog has ever seen. And the great thing about peeing on your bed is it soaks into your mattress, which is good news for your dog because now they don't have to sleep in their own excrement because it gets sponged in. Yeah. So that's why, you know, when we're crate training our dogs, if they're having accidents in the crate, it means that what we have in the crate is too squishy because they can pee in one corner. It gets soaked up and they're like, perfect. That cleaned itself up. So that might be what's going on. Gotcha. I also highly encourage investing in a really good enzymatic urine cleaner. You need something that's going to have enzymes in it that are going to eat the urine that's in the fibers of your mattress. So do that. I might also recommend in a waterproof cover for your mattress. You can pick one up at Target, um, Amazon, really anywhere, and you get like a liner that you can wrap your mattress in that's waterproof. So if this happens again, it won't seep into your mattress because I think the problem we're having now is it just smells like pee and your dog is confusing it for a bathroom. The next most important thing, which is the first most important thing if you just got a new dog, is schedule, schedule, schedule. Mm -hmm. If your dog is not going to the bathroom predictably, that means that somewhere there's an issue with potty training and scheduling. So remove access to your bedroom so your dog can't get in there anymore and put your dog on a very defined schedule so that they know when it's potty time and when it's nap time. I'll give you a breakdown of the schedule I'm using for my puppy just as a for instance, but I have on my puppy on, and this is what I give as a treatment plan to all my new puppy parents, a two on, two off schedule. So two on means two hours in the crate, two off means two hours of free playtime. Free playtime doesn't mean run around the house, but it does mean you get monitored by me, like I tie a puppy to the couch if I'm in the living room, or I umbilical cord puppy, which means I put him on a leash and tie him to my pants and he goes everywhere I go for two hours. And then after two hours, we take a potty break and he goes back in his crate for two more hours. So that's just a really simple schedule, but it helps puppy understand when he's awake, that he shouldn't be pottying, and that when he has his outside time is when he should potty. So it just kind of helps to give your dog a little bit of predictability so they know when they get to go potty so that they don't feel like, oh, I better go potty now because I don't know when I'm going to get to go out again. And this smells like a bathroom, and I've used it as a bathroom before, so this must be a bathroom, right? So remove access, better schedule, and last ingredient, pay for outdoor peas. So if your dog does pee outside, give them a paycheck reinforcement drives behavior. If I'm getting turkey for peeing outside and nothing for peeing on the bed, I'm probably going to opt to pee outside so I can eat turkey. <laughs> Sylvia, it makes total sense when you say, say it. Thank you so much. You're full of knowledge and I'm so excited to continue asking Ooh, questions like these with you. This was so fun.